you know from films like The Favorite, Black Widow, and The Constant Gardener, her new, her new excuse me, miniseries Dead Ringers is now streaming on Prime Video. Let's take a look. What is this? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Trying to get us the money, Elliot. These are pie charts and bar graphs. Or did you make these yourselves? Hello? Mantles? Feel like I'm losing I mean, how you. How exactly are you planning on using this, you nerd? Mantles? Elliot, stop it. Oh, my God. You're still just that 14-year-old wanking into her algebra homework. Uh... That didn't happen. Basically, it did. But it didn't. But it could have. Elliot! Please welcome to the show, Rachel Weiss, everybody. I'm so happy to have you here. Oh, thank you for having me. Congratulations on this show. It's based, loosely based, it's sort of, I guess, a new take on this David Cronenberg film. Uh, from 1988, Dead Ringers. Do you remember the first time you saw that film? I do. I don't remember like where I was exactly, yeah. but I remember how it made me feel. It's very intense. Very intense, very haunting, twisted. It's iconic. It's like an incredible movie. But I, I'm very glad with the clip you brought because this show is both of those things. It's twisted, it's haunted, but it's also very funny, which I'm glad that we could show with the clip because I think when I heard Dead Ringers was going to be a miniseries, like, oh, I don't know if I can handle it. But it's really, there's a lot of humor in this as well. Was that very important to you? when you started making this? Yes, yes it was. Because I think six hours of that level of intensity <laughs> is a lot to ask of, a, of a, someone at home watching the TV, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, it's, I a think it's a lot, it's a lot. You yeah. also, I have to say, you have great chemistry with yourself. <laughs> 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 That's so weird Isn't to put it, weird? it like that. But yeah. there's a lot. I'm first of all, I'm very just on a technical level. I'm very impressed with how well the scenes where you're acting against yourself. There is a because you're playing twins. There's that very like I don't know a sibling type crosstalk that I would think would be very hard to do considering only one of you was there at any given time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's really distinct characters like. Yes. And, and I had an acting scene partner called Kitty, Kitty Hawthorne, who was brilliant. So I wasn't talking to the air. <laughs> I had someone to talk to. That's very nice. Yeah, it was really lovely. She's brilliant. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, they, they're just really different people. So I, when you say chemistry with yourself, that sounds kind of creepy and weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of dig it in a, in a way. But yeah. for the show, for the show, it was like yes. Elliot's like, she's, she's very kind of hungry and slightly, uh, she's always kind of moving around and she can't eat enough burgers and sleep with enough guys. And yeah. she's, and her appetite for her career is massive. And Beverly's very kind of um, shy and still and thoughtful and careful. So they're just very different. It's very easy uh, to, yeah, when you're watching the show, it's very easy to tell the two characters apart, even though they're played by the, and you don't have any sort of like big soap opera visual cues, like the eye patch or anything. No. To know which twin yeah. is which. Yeah. So I'm very impressed with that Eye patch parrot yeah. cane, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you have to do, was it <laughs> tricky for you, was it simple for you to keep it straight because the characters were so divergent? Yes, yeah. yes, they were just, Two radically different gals. Yeah, we 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 learned to start with Elliot because she sets the pace and she moves around a lot. And then Beverly would slot in with her because she's <laughs> she was born two minutes later, so she's the little sister. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter birth order. It doesn't matter how much time birth order matters. It matters. Yeah. Um, I did not realize. So obviously, I was aware of the Cronenberg film. I didn't realize the Cronenberg film was loosely based on mm -hmm. real life twins who were you know, OBGYNs in New York in the 70s. Yes. Is they, were you aware of that? Uh, yes, okay. there was um, a big New York Magazine article, which I read, um, uh, about them. Yeah, they, they were both found dead in their apartment. They, I think, well, one of them OD'd. Uh, but they were the celebrity doctors to get your baby delivered by if you were a woman with a certain amount of wealth in 1973. You wanted these guys to deliver your babies. <laughs> and funnily enough, um, the apartment block where we filmed in Manhattan that was the lobby of the twins' home in, 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 the, in the TV show, the woman who managed the building came up to me and she said, uh, she said, um, I was delivered by by one of those doctors. Wow. Which was kind of uncanny and strange anyway that we should cross paths, but yeah. What a trip. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I, I, I heard for preparation, you know, for playing these characters who had this professional skill, you actually watched some childbirths happen. Yes. Obviously, you got permission. I did. Okay. I did. I did. That's yeah. very good. On an HR yeah. level, I had to ask. Yes. Yeah. 
I was, you know, <laughs> imagine just like hiding behind a potted plant, <laughs> yeah. you know, like. And the doctor what? being like, we're gonna put you under some anesthesia. You might see a, an Academy Award winner. That's totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real thing. <laughs> um, did you, uh, I mean, obviously you've been on the other side of it. What did you feel like watching it was, I mean, I will say, because one of the things this show yeah. does, because we see, Almost everything on television, it's so rare that we see a very realistic depiction of childbirth, which I will say as someone who went into watching, you know, I've seen uh, all three of my kids get born in yeah. all very different locations, I should know. Yeah. Hospital, lobby, and bathtub. So I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen them all. Yeah. Um, but I wish I'd seen more of it before I saw it for the first time, because yes. watching it is, you just watch it and you're like, well, this is obviously going wrong. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it looks scary, yeah. right? Did I mean so what I mean having you obviously had gone through it on yes. the other day. Was watching it, were you like, oh, is that what it looked like? <laughs> it's me? a it's a really good question. Yeah, of course, well, of course when you're giving birth yourself, it's uh, yeah, you, yeah, you don't know. You're sort of yeah, it's very intense. Yeah. <laughs> it's very intense. You can't see it. Yeah. yeah. So you 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 witnessed it yeah. from the outside. That would be a weird case where I'd go like, as a man, let me tell you what. <laughs> that, yeah, um, it was exhilarating. Actually, I shadowed some obstetricians, and um, that was the technical term. I wasn't behind them looking creepy. <laughs> like, but but I, I shadowed these obstetricians, and it was. I, I suppose the simplest way to say it is that I know that it happens every second on planet Earth, someone's being born, yeah. but to actually witness it, it, it was exhilarating. I had an adrenaline rush, like the likes of which I'd never had. And it seemed like a miracle. It seemed like this a miraculous thing. There's a human being coming out of another... Hu it's extraordinary, yeah. absolutely extraordinary. Is that how you felt when I you... Did. Yeah. I did. You know, I... You also think the next one you'll be, you know... Used to it. Right. Yeah. And you aren't no. at all. No. I mean, it's held... I, I do feel like my wife has done a nice job of heightening each time, so I do appreciate it. You mean, like, the dangerous places yeah, she's where like, she let's, was giving... Yeah, she's okay. like... I mean, she's, like, kind of a thrill mom, you know? She's yeah, like... I love that. <laughs> yeah. It's like you've done the lobby. Yeah. What's next? What's next? Yeah, um, I love that. Good But, um, that. yeah, you kind of... And it's just that thing of, like, there wasn't... Like, a minute ago, there wasn't a human being. Yeah, And yes. now it's here. And then it dawns on you, like, and you got to take care of it the rest forever. Of, yeah. The rest of your life. <laughs> the rest of your life. Yeah. Um, but, you, it, you know, I, it must have been... I know you're a producer on this as well, so I have to imagine there were a great amount of conversations about the care you took with trying to depict this in a way yeah. that was... I, mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's, it's entertainment, but it is, like, helpful to put this on screen, I, I think, in a way that it hasn't been before. Yeah, I mean, I think um, Alice Birch, the showrunner and writer extraordinaire of the piece, she and I just felt like it was really interesting to, to show childbirth. We're so used to seeing um, violence yeah. on the screen. Like, there's such a cinematic language now for the ways in which you can die operatically, comedically, tragically, you know, blood spurting. You know, we're just so used to it. But there's something about, yeah, childbirth, it seemed like, yeah, there is some blood, but... Um, it's beautiful and interesting. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, uh, it's the kind that you actually one day will be hopefully lucky to see, right? Like, it's the good kind, so. Yeah. Did you, um, I know What'd that guy. What do you got, mean? I got, well. <laughs> sorry. I don't want to, I, I don't yeah. want, I, you're not allowed to ask follow-ups of me. Okay, no. sorry. <laughs> okay. No, what I mean, I guess, is, yeah, you know, no, when you watch, you mean, when you watch, like, a, you know, a gunshot violence on a TV show, like, mm. you hope, in real life, you hope you'll never encounter that. Oh. But when you see the sort of, you know, I, I don't want to say there's a violence of childbirth, but it does, like, feel it's like... Intense. It's, it's intense. It's intense. And lot. so it's actually an intense thing yeah. that being able to see realistically depicted on a television show is, like, a helpful thing to see once yeah. before you see it. I, I, think that's, I think that's really beautifully put. Well, yeah. I took a, I it took some time. time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got there. Yeah, yeah. Much like childbirth, we got there. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Well, it's high stakes, it's isn't high it? Stakes. It's the I highest that, stakes, yeah. most dramatic moment yeah. in a human being's life. And for the mom, the, the dad, the baby. The, the crazy thing is how it... I mean, it's high stakes for the uh, obstetricians, but they yeah. also have to... The fact that they do it, you know, multiple times in the same day... Yeah. It's, it's just, that's blows just, my mind. Yeah, that's for them. It's I guess it's 
ordinary at this yeah. point. I, think. I mean, you have to make it ordinary. Like, you don't want one of them being like, oh, no! no! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is bad! Yeah. Um, We'd make a good obstetrician I think pair. Would, like, yeah. wow! Oh! <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> one of the other things, uh, the last thing I'll say, it must have been nice that um, you know you you make movies all over the world. You actually got to uh, work on the show in your hometown. Was that the best? It was the best. Yeah. I was at uh, Silver Cup Studios, Long Island City, um, and it was just so yeah, it was so great to be in in New York. And all the the crew, all the technicians are just so fantastic here. And yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Um, yeah. It's a really wonderful show. It's so beautifully directed. The the art design on this show is just gorgeous, and you're really wonderful in it. And thanks so much for being here to talk about. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, <laughs> everybody. All six episodes of Dead Ringers are available now on Prime Video. Be right back.